Knowledge that the monks had accumulated gradually spread. Knowledge like how Barbagal had worked with the great water wheel and the gearing system that made it so efficient. And in the end, by the Middle Ages, look what they did with that wheel. Here's the wheel being operated by water, and here's the gearing system turning the horizontal movement vertical, then horizontal again, and then vertical again in order to operate the millstones. Here's another system operating a trip hammer for bashing things like mineral ore or cloth or leather, soften it up. Here's a system that operates a similar trip hammer device, but it's to work a suction pump for a water supply. Same system again, operating two levers, pressing two levers, pressing for a blast furnace. And finally over here, a crank that turns a circular movement into back and forward movement for a sawmill. Beautiful system. So, put yourself in their position. The wars are all over. There's loads of productive land everywhere. You've got water coming out of your ears and an amazing machine to use to harness the power. What would you do? Yes, you'd have yourself a medieval industrial revolution. The great thing about these wheels was that they were easy to make and they'd work almost anywhere. You lived up a mountain, hollow a few trees out, and you had yourself a wooden aqueduct. Horizontal wheels didn't need gears because they spun millstones directly above. You could turn a vertical wheel with water falling from above or flowing past below in a river. And with gears, you could slow down the effect of a fast stream or speed up a slow one. Water power made you a lot of bread, in both senses. But the star of the show was this, the cam. With a cam, you can trip hammers to pound things with, harder and faster than any human being. And build yourself mills to work. Timber, oil, grain, leather, cloth, iron, beer, wire, sugar, coin, you name it.